Welcome back. Tomorrow night is the latest installment of the Kennels film series, and it's a, a film called Foxtrot. We have Terry Ann and Tom here to break it down for us. Who's going first? Uh, I'll go first okay. today. Okay. So this is a very controversial film. It's an Israeli film. Uh, the director, Samuel Maoz, did an earlier film called Lebanon, and we screened that a few years ago, and that was a very claustrophobic film uh, from within a tank. Oh. It's part of the Israeli invasion of Lebanon, okay. and it was very well received. This film is again on themes of war, and it um, focuses first on the um, human side, the family is informed right at the beginning of the film that their son has been killed. And the reaction of the two parents is one of the focal points of uh, the, the interest of the viewers. But it then goes on to uh, explore what happened how this young soldier, 20-year-old soldier, is killed. And it explores the, um, the situation, and there's some comedy involved. These are young soldiers who are on a very remote uh, border crossing, and they really don't know quite what to do mm -hmm. with their days. Mm -hmm. And from the trailer, you'll see there's some funny episodes. Mm -hmm. But then the third part of the film explores the social impact of constant war on Israeli society and it the film is controversial because the current government in Israel was very upset mm -hmm. with this exploration of the price that the Israeli society pays for this constant state of war. Okay. Let's take a look at the trailer and then we'll have Terry Ann weigh in after that. That is quite a border crossing there, Terry Ann. One of the reasons that this film has created such a stir in Israel is because it is really an indictment of the way that the Israeli government is leveraging these really young, socially, psychologically inexperienced youth to carry out their directive. So you have this country that wants their army, they want their army to be seen as this strictly moralistic army. And as you watch the film, you discover, you know, the, the, what actually happens. And it's all very secretive and it's all, all very covert. But really, this film was inspired by the filmmaker uh, who 20 years previously got in an argument with his daughter. She wanted to take a cab. She wanted money to take a cab. He wanted her to take the bus. So he sent her out to take the bus. And when she went to take the bus, a terrorist strike hit the bus line. And so for several hours, he believed his daughter to be dead. Turned out she missed the bus, um, wasn't on it. But this was sort of some of the uh, inspiration behind mm -hmm. him writing the film. And also to just sort, sort of portray Israeli society, you know, as he perceives it. And the name, Foxtrot, mm -hmm. it even is interesting because if you dance the Foxtrot, always you end up where you started. So no matter what happens in this film, no matter what decisions the characters make, mm -hmm. they, no matter what they do, they always sort of end up back where they started. Okay. So it's very, it's very interesting film. And it's also, for, for those that are really into the artistry of filmmaking, this is a, a very expressionist film. He use, uses a lot of expressionist uh, tactics to, to tell the story, to, tell, to share the narrative. It, it looks really shot. good. It yeah. is a little bit of comedic relief, but also some very serious undertones, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of the young men says, what is the purpose? Mm -hmm. And that's the question that permeates the entire sure. film. Yes. You know, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. Looks like a good one, you guys. We're out of time. Thank you to the both of you for being here. Thank you. Yes, Foxtrot playing tomorrow night at the Paramount Theatre downtown, 7 o'clock. You can get your tickets either online at countsfilmseries.ca, in person at the door, or at Movie Mart. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.